What's up, guys? Welcome back again. Yeah, same outfit. Yeah, I'm doing two reviews in one day. That's right. It's going to be on the Geek Vape Obelisk 120 FC kit with the Obelisk tank or the Zeus Z sub ohm tank, which I have on top, sir. And sirs and sirettes. Let's get into it. <laughs> This was sent to me from GeekVay for the purpose of this review. Thank you very much. It's not going to change my opinion of this Obelisk 120 FC kit. The Obelisk 120 FC kit's really nice. It's got some unique things to it, unique things going on. Internal 3,700 milliamp hour internal APO battery. I don't know why I start off saying internal and then give it and then say internal again. <laughs> it's just one of those things. Uh, but yeah, we are going to dive down. I'm going to show you everything you need to know about this bad boy and to come back up top pros and cons final thoughts all right so it's guys this is the second time I'm recording this i forgot to turn on the audio uh <laughs> the first time i recorded it so i'm re-recording it this is the package that mine came in it's a geek vape package of the obelisk fc 120 kit with the obelisk tank um all right so i was showing it to you brand new um, I'll try to throw in some of that B-roll of the no audio version to show you, but, uh, it's going to come like this. You're going to get your mod in there. It's going to basically end up like that right there. Okay. What are you going to get with it? You're going to get the obelisk tank, right? Okay. Uh, bottom airflow. Okay. Um, you're going to get an additional bubble and an additional straight glass. So you get three glass pieces and this does a top fill like that. See that? Boom, boom. It's got that. So if it goes upside down, it's not going to come back out. But if you're going to fill this up with a 100 ml tank, take off the drip tip or it will not fit and you will not be able to get the needle tip nose inside to fill it. So you're going to have to take off that or use a 60 ml and it should be a lot easier to do. I mean, you just got to take the drip tip off, which is a little unfortunate. All right. You got the airflow. Take that off there. You can get, it comes with a 0.4 and a 0.2 ohm uh, coil, 50 to 60 watts, 0.4, and 70 to 80 watts on the 0.2. They're both mesh coils. And these can be used in the Zeus Z sub ohm tank as well. Put it in there like that. Line up those, line up those little notches into those notches so it fits in flush. Airflow is very tight which I like. You're also going to get this tool in there uh, that you can take out the coil if you don't want to use your fingernail, if you don't have fingernails. You're also going to get this here. You're going to get a USB Type-C that you can use on its own to charge uh, the Obelisk or fast charge, or you can use this to charge an, an, an external device, smartphone, Apple, Android, doesn't matter. You can use that to charge another device. Or if you wanted to charge this device, we have the safest way to, or they implemented the safest way, sorry about the autofocusing, uh, to charge the device safely at 3.25 amps, uh, 15 minutes uh, for a full charge of two days of use that they're claiming at 60 watts, depending on how much you vape, uh, you would use this. So I, it's really, really nice how they added it. It's not cheap. Uh, it's definitely got some weight to it. It feels solid. It almost feels like an Apple-style uh, charging device in a way. And depending on where you live, uh, they are going to come out with different pieces to, um, depending on which country you live in, uh, to charge the device with the correct connections for the wall. So you could do it either way. If you don't want to have this in the wall and you're in a pinch, you can just use the cable. But uh, if you want to get the fastest, safest charge, uh, you would want to use the wall mount. And this is with the Zeus C sub ohm tank on top. All right, it says Geek Vape. Geek Vape, you got the fire button, wattage down, wattage up. Obelisk logo, USB Type-C on the side. It's an internal 3,700 milliamp hour internal LiPo battery. I know I said that like kind of twice, my, my apologies. Uh, but it doesn't say anything about milliamp hours on the bottom. I wish that it did. Unfortunately, it doesn't. Um, so it is an internal LiPo battery. Um, it is 3,700 milliamp hours, which is pretty good. Pretty similar and close to a dual 18650 mod. It's 120 watt output. 
Uh, but the obelisk, let me know in the comments if I'm wrong, but I remember there was an obelisk RDA. Uh, I don't know if Geek Vape made it or not. I think they did, but I'm not like 100% sure. I remember they were a long time ago. This was like back in 2000, what was it, 17 or something like that, 2016 maybe. There was an obelisk RDA, and it had the same logo. I, I, I assume that Geek Vape made it, but I can't remember. So let me know in the comments if I'm accurate about that or not. But I think they did or else, you know, why would they? I don't know. Just in the same, the lettering and writing of Obelisk is pretty much the same as well. So I do feel like Geek Vape did make that. But let me know in the comments. Zeus Z sub home tank on this one. And then I have the Obelisk tank on this one. This is the one that was brand new that I opened up for you guys. You got the screen here. We're going to go right into it and redo the screen situation. So five clicks on, five clicks off, obviously. It's going to say Geek Vape, and then it's going to like kind of disappear with some colors. And then you're going to five clicks back on. It's going to do the same thing, say Geek Vape. All right, so it does go up to 120 watts. Bink, and it does Ryan Robin, all right? And it does uh, one watt, and then it does 0.5 below. I think it's 100. It skims really quickly. Three clicks, you're going to get into the menu system. You have your wattage, your resistance, your amps, your volts, your puff counter. Three clicks, it's going to go dark. You can go to stainless steel mode. You can go to TCR mode. Hit the fire button once. It's going to go to the resistance. You can either hit the left to lock it or left to unlock the resistance. Hit the fire button again. It's going to go to the wattage. You can adjust that from 5 watts to 120 watts. Hit the fire button again. It would go to temperature coefficient value to adjust that. And then you hit it again uh, in succession, depending on which one you want to go to. And you can go to the puff counter. Three clicks. Then you have VPC, bypass mode, and then you have this OTG mode. Now, it didn't say in the user manual. I looked through the whole user manual. It does not say anything about the OTG. But what OTG is, if you, I remember there was another mod I think Geekvape came out with in the, not the recent past, but a while ago. You can charge other devices uh, and then see it goes back because it doesn't, it doesn't notice that anything is in there. Uh, but basically, OTG, you can charge your cell phone, Android, Apple, another device with USB Type-C. Um, you can charge another device. I think um, Inakin did that as well with that, was it, MPV5? Where you, you know, you could charge, uh, they had a flashlight, I think, as well. But um, you could charge another device with this if you're in a pinch. Plus or minus together, it's going to lock uh, the buttons down here, but it will still fire. Hold them again, it will unlock, okay? Fire on the wattage up will ch bring up the brightness. Fire on the wattage down will bring down the brightness. You can do that as well, all right? Um, yeah, that's the menu system on it. Next to the drag three. Thought this was a good one to compare to because it's kind of almost the same size. It's a little bit smaller, obviously. It's a little shorter, it's a little bit not as wide, um, but it's a, it's a little bit thicker. You know, but it's kind of the same size. It's a little bit smaller. So it's extremely comfortable in the hand. Um, I like the button on this. I like the buttons in general on it. The, the, the build quality feels good. Nice 510. I don't know if I showed you the 510, but the 510 is extremely, uh, it's nice and flat. You know, and 28s do look really well on top. So if I take the bulk RTA, 28s look it looks really good with a 28. It does. I really like the way it looks with a 28. So if you wanted to run something on there, you can most definitely do so. Um, good threads on the 510, spring-loaded. All right, everything's good there. Uh, it's going to do the old coil. Okay. And then you have your battery life. I wish the battery life was a little bit better, but th th those that indication right there is your battery life. So when that goes up and down, that's how you can see your battery life. But uh, yeah, I'm going to talk to you about the pros and cons, final thoughts. And let's go back up top. Back from the close-up on the Obelisk FC120 kit by Geek Vape. Yeah. So what do I have to tell you? There's a lot of things I got to tell you about this kit. Um, I'm really trying hard to look at the lens at you guys versus looking over there. 
if I look, I'm just making sure I'm in frame. It's kind of like a bad habit. It is. It's a bad habit. But, you know, I got to make sure I'm in frame. I don't want to be out of focus. You know what I mean? You guys like, oh, oh, my God. This guy's out of focus the whole video. Are you kidding me? Anyways, so I got the, we're going to go over this. So I really like the Geek Vape Z, Zeus Z, sub home tank. Zeus Z. I, I don't know. <laughs> Two Z's. I don't know. Um, it's top airflow. I get no leaking. I get no freaking e-liquid on my hands, on the mod, nowhere. I love it. All right? Um, but this mod's really cool. Uh, it is an internal LiPo battery, which, ugh, you know, uh, I'm thinking they might, you know, come out with one with external batteries. Who knows? 3,700 milliamp hours. Now, they're saying that you can get 15 minutes of charge time, right? And you get two days of use at 60 watts. Now... That's kind of, you can't say it's not accurate, but you also can't say that it is accurate because it's going to really depend on how you vape. If you vape at 60 watts and you're chain vaping the crap out of it all day, it's not going to last two days. You know what I mean? Um, but the battery life on it is good. I have used it a couple days without charging it, but I wasn't constantly just using this device. I was using some other, something else. Then I was taking it to work in the car, going to work. Like on a work day, yeah, I could get about two days out of it. I'm at 80 watts, so I give it about a day, a day and a half, and then I had to charge it. So a couple times. So it's really going to depend on how much you vape. You know what I mean? If you vape chain, like I said, then it's not going to last two days. But to, to, to fast charge this at 3.25 amps for 15 minutes and it's fully charged is awesome. All right. And you can also use the OTG system in here if you want to charge your – we've seen this before, but uh, they came with a nice wall charger have to be honest the usb type c cable huh, wasn't cheap looks quality have to be honest a lot of mods that come out the you know the cables are just way too short too small not uh, a, a decent quality i'm not gonna say best quality but not a decent quality you know what i mean and this one really had a nice usb c cable and wall charger if you wanted to get the full 3.25 amp safely charging it at 3.25 amps because of that wall charger you know if you're going to use another wall charger i would not recommend to do so i would recommend to use the wall charger that is provided because that was calibrated to match and to use on this device specifically so you could probably use it with something else but i would just stick to the wall charger if you want to get a fast charge but you can also use it just USB C, you know and then the other side USB C. so you could use another cable if you needed to, but you could also use the USB-C and then plug it into your laptop. Hopefully, it has a USB-C input. Um, some do, some don't. Um, it's got your VPC. It's got your uh, stainless steel, your temperature coefficient value, and it's very easy to navigate to the menu system in order to change like your resistance. You want to lock it. You want to unlock it. You want to change your wattage up to 120 watts. You want to reset your puff counter. Uh, you can most definitely do so just by clicking the button and going through the different menus. Just like Geekface has been doing on their mods for like the last, what, three years? You know what I mean? So it's really nice that they kept that kept that going. Uh, feels good in the hand. Feels solid. Feels not too big, not too small. It's a good size. Um, nice 510, nice and flat 28s. I think look absolutely stunning on top. Look perfect. Let's have a vape on the Zeus Z sub home tank. And then I'm going to have a vape on the Obelisk tank. And I'm going to let you know, those are the two different like types of uh, kits that you can get. You can get the Zeus Z sub home tank with the Obelisk, or you can get the Obelisk with the Obelisk tank. You'd probably have to buy the mod separately, you know, buy just the mod and then the Zeus Z sub home tank additional to go on it. Or you can buy the kit like this as one, all right? So it does come with two coils, a 0.4 and a 0.2. One's up to 60 watts and the other one's up to 80 watts. Obviously, the 0.2 goes higher in watts because of lower resistance. But uh, I got the 0.2 in. I have it at 80 watts because I like the maximum amount of... Uh, voltage going to the coil as possible um, and I feel like the maximum 80 watt coil on a 120 watt device is uh, uh, is good I'm not gonna you know how you you guys know me you know I like to complain about those things but having 40 watt overhead is good because you could throw an IDA on here or something like that right I could throw an IDA on here and run at 105 watts and be completely happy so I do like everything they did across the board for wattage. Somebody that likes low wattage, you got you covered. Somebody that likes mid wattage, 80 watts, 70 watts, 60 watts, you're covered. If you like more wattage uh, or you want to use an IDA, 
uh, a dual coil RDA, not a single coil, a dual coil RDA, you could definitely do so as well. And have 105, 110 watts on it and still have overhead. So I like what they did with the wattage. I like what they did, they did, they did, they did. I like what they did with the coils. And uh, just fumbling over my own words here, but I like everything about that that they did. All right. Now, the Zeus C Zubbomb tank uh, is a really nice tank. I, I think it vapes great. There's plenty of reviews out on it. I'm not going to go over it too much in detail, but I do like the performance of the Zeus Z Zubbomb tank. I do think the coils that they give you for both, these coils will work in the Zeus Z or the Obelis tank, which is a pro. Compatibility across the board. I love it. Standardizing uh, coils and atomizers is a good thing compatibility wise so that's pro and these are good coils so the performance is really nice do you hear the airflow very very smooth airflow on the zoo c sub home tank as well the mod fires instantly ready fire fires completely instantly very easy to navigate five clicks on five clicks off three clicks switch through the different menus click the fire button to go down i love the menu system on it i love how it works very responsive and now i have the obelisk tank on the obelisk fc 120 kit all right a little bit shiny so there's a little bit of fingerprint magnet on both sides all right but it is nice matte black i like it um i got the airflow about 80 percent open on the abellus tank i love I, I do like the top fill we're going to get into that in a second but uh let's have a vapos I'm sorry, I got this one at 70 watts. I'm going to bump it up to 80 watts. All right? And I'm going to compare it. <laughs> now, this has got bottom airflow. I feel like there is there's a very, very slight, slight, very slight difference between the Obelisk flavor and the Zeus Z sub home tank flavor. All right? I this I feel like the obelisk has a little I'm talking little bit. I'm not this isn't like a substantial difference. It's a very subtle difference, but there is a little bit better flavor I feel on the obelisk tank than the Zeus Z. And the only reason for that, and I will explain to you the only reason, you guys probably already know. You're you probably already comment in the comments already knowing this answer. It's bottom airflow. Bottom airflow does uh, a majority of the time, majority of the time give better flavor than a top airflow but leaking ha, i'm not down with leaking is that little minuscule flavor worth dealing with the juice on my hands and on the mod no absolutely not it's not that substantial amount of difference so i would have to go with the zeus z sub ohm tank over the obelisk but the top fill on this is pretty cool but you have to take the drip tip out if you use a 100 ml bottle to fill it because it's just not going to be able to fit in the hole <laughs> we're gonna go over that again are we no we're not um so i you know i do wish they uh in the top fill and i do like the zeus z sub home tank top fill better to be honest you just take the top off you don't have to worry about it like fitting in the hole to fill it or nothing you just take it off fill it you're done so um i do like that but uh, this face's good too man Very smooth. Very, very smooth. You could tell it's a bottom airflow compared to a top airflow. You just you notice the difference in the airflow. Airflow is kind of similar in both, but you can notice a difference on how it pulls. It's how to explain. You probably have to do it in order to see that. All right, moving on. Um, flavor on this, on the Obelisk, I'll probably have to give it about an 8 out of 10. The Zeus, well, 8.5 out of 10. The Zeus is going to get 8 out of 10. I, it's, it's, they're very, very close. They're neck and neck. They're very close. But I feel like the pros of the top fill and the top airflow on the Zeus C wins it for me, personally. All right? Um, nice 510, nice and flush. It's, it's, the, the edges are rounded on the mod. It doesn't feel sharp in the hand. Um, you can actually charge it sitting upright on the side, or you can have it sitting upright and charge another device on the side. I like where they put the USB type C, <laughs> just kidding. Um, USB type C on the side versus, you know, on the bottom or, or somewhere else. Uh, but yeah, I like it. 
I, I really like what they did. I like what they did with the, the wall charger and everything like that. Um, I think Geek Fate did a really, really good job overall, and they brought some different versatility things. And I know charging is a big deal, especially when you're on the go and you're going to work. It's a big deal. You know what I mean? You want to have something. You don't want to have to be charging all the time. It's nice to just plug it in, have it charged in 15 minutes if you have the, the wall adapter with you um, and then all, you know on your own. But if you have just the cable and you plug it into your laptop, you're not going to get the 3.25 amps. I think I think they said you're gonna get like two amps or, or or somewhere in that vicinity. It might take thirty minutes or something like that. But that's about it. Do you googling for pricing and 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 whatever else? But uh, that's what I got for you today, guys. Hope you found the video helpful and for owners. Stay juiced up, screw lighting up. Don't waste your bandwidth not being subscribed to the channel. And uh, I'm definitely gonna catch you guys on the next one. I got a little uh, Starbucks salted caramel cold brew is the play uh, pumpkin was the play uh back in fall but that's gone now so uh, try one of those out if you go to starbucks i don't know if you drink starbucks or not but um leave a like share subscribe comment down below let me know yeah uh, the obelisk um remember the obelisk idea that came out it had the same logo on it did geek vape make that i can't remember i think they did they must have I don't think they would use the same exact logo and the same lettering unless they owned it. You know what I mean? Let me know in the comments if I'm just, like, losing my mind. This RDA came back out in, like, 2017, 2016. So I'm, I don't really remember too much, but I remember there was an Obelisk RDA. And it was kind of cool back in the day. Um, it was uh, innovative, or uh, there was some talk around it, and it performed really well. Um, but let me know in the comments. And uh, if you guys want me to go live... Let me know if you want me to go live, and I'll try to go live this weekend or something. Uh, I know I've been, like, kind of all over the place with my schedule and, and doing reviews. They haven't been, like, consistent like they usually are. You know, things are uh, different. Things have changed. It just is what it is. But I'm here, and I'll catch you guys on the next one, or I'll just keep talking. Peace.